and welcome back to the Reality Check video review. Right now we're going to be doing an unboxing of another spectacular item. I'm actually very, very excited about this thing today. This is something that's going to make uh, my videos a lot better. It's going to really just make my footage stand out. So let's just go ahead and, and check it out right now. Okay, so what you want to do with this guy is you want to make sure you get yourself like a... You need something like a... Bottle opener, okay, bottle opener. We can use the bottle opener, and we can just get it all right up in there. Yeah, the bottle opener, is, whoa, it's just opening the box. They call it a bottle opener, they might as well call it a box opener, you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Open up the box. Pretty excited about this guy right here. As I said, this is gonna just take take the footage to a whole new level. This is what it is. We've got a crane three axis gimbal stabilizer that we're going to be able to use for the Canon T2i, which is what I'm using right now to film this. And I'll be able to actually hold it um, like you would an action cam. And then from there, it's got a three axis stabilizer, which just always keeps the footage looking nice and smooth. So we need to take this out of the box and see if we can't try it out. Okay, let's get in there. Right. You really gotta love it when they give you a hard case for a device. I mean, even if it's not, you know, the same kind of quality as you would get with like a shark case or something, it still makes it so much nicer to hold and use your device. Go ahead and open it up here. We've got some instructions, of course, a silica pad. And then over here, looks like we have some of the mounting pieces, some mounting brackets that we need. We've got a charger for the batteries. Of course, a cable for that, USB. And Ooh, all kinds of stuff. What I just, uh, I'm really excited right here. Here is the batteries right here. And we'll go ahead and pull those guys out. And this is, this is the actual, wow, let me go ahead and pull that up. Crane is an omnipotent gimbal which has three 360 degree rotary axis, automotive high grade precision motors, camera control interface, toolless quick release system, and powerful 32 bit MCUs. It also supports two kinds of batteries, both 26500 and 26650, with which it provides 6 hours and 12 hours operation time respectively. There are three 32-bit MCUs that run concurrently at 4K Hz. They support floating point calculation and altitude control, as well as servo control algorithms. They control the camera with an accuracy of 0.01 degree in less than 0.25 milliseconds. There are three operation modes, including pan follow mode, pan and tilt follow mode, and lock mode. So here we have the stabilizer ready to go. I've got the batteries all charged up and I've actually uh, gotten to play with it a little bit. So if you wanted to set it down, this is kind of the best way just to sit it. Um, of course, once you put this in and hold the power button right there, it will uh, blink on the lights there and it'll start up. I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down and you guys can take a look for yourselves. Okay, so here we have the stabilizer and it's actually not even on right now. So this is, uh, you can kind of see, I've pretty much got it actually pretty level just as you're holding it. So even without it being on, we've stabilized it by using not only this, uh, this piece over here, we've got one, two, three different areas where we can actually stabilize the camera. And once you get it kind of, like I said, about stabilized where it is, even when the thing's not on, you want it to be able to, to do the, less, uh, the least amount of work, you know, obviously keeping in its normal position. So uh, obviously there's that position and there's also this position right here which you can also use when you're holding it. So you can actually do sweeping scenes and then do scenes of, of this nature. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it back around to uh, the normal way, I guess. <laughs> or, whoa, 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 here we go, here we go. The normal way. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on right now. So I'm gonna turn it on by holding down the power button over here. And once it turns on, you're gonna see it engage. Oh, now it engaged. Now that it's actually on, it's ready to uh, go. We're gonna see what movement, is. so what it's in actually right now uh, the first mode that it starts in is the follow mode. And what the follow mode is, is it's a, it's a locked follow mode. What that means is it's going to stay in the pitch that it's already in. So the pitch stays the same. But if I rotate my arm left or right, you see how it actually goes left or right in a really nice, smooth fashion. So we've got that smooth fashion that it's doing right there. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera on so we can actually get some recordings here as we're doing this. 
So maybe I can go back and forth and uh, show what it looks like. So anyways, as, as I'm showing right here, so we've got this, this smooth move around that we're, we're be able to do by doing it like this. Uh, also, if I, like I said, if I try to move up or down, it stays in the exact same pitch. So I can do some kind of a cool scene where I go from under the table and I go straight up because it stays the same pitch the whole time. So you can also do like a, a scene where you're going from, from below and you're moving it up. So nice and slow would be something like, or, or we could go, here we go. So I'm gonna show off these, these movements in just a second, but that's what this kind of allows you to do. It allows you to stay the same pitch, but also turn. So, you know, for example, you could be going and looking at something. You're going up here, looking at the light, and going down. If I stand at the same angle, it just keeps a certain kind of a quality and look to everything. So that's just nice to be able to do that right there. So also, not only can we do that, we can hit the, the mode button. By hitting the mode button, now it's in locked mode. That means no matter how I turn it, it's going to stay the same direction no matter what. And this is obviously great for when you have a subject in that specific spot. I'm going to go ahead and hit the button again. Um, but if you want it to pitch up and down, there's of course the third mode for that. And if you just double tap, double tap the mode button, now you'll notice when I try to pitch it down, it actually looks down. You know, I can actually pitch it up and it'll look up. So like it, it kind of looks the directions that you want it to look. And this is great if you're doing somewhat of like an outdoors type thing where you're looking at the ground and you want to go from looking at the ground to like looking up at the sky, you can do something like that. It's just, it's a really, really nifty tool for doing scenes like that. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just add some music. I'm going to go around to, to the printer area and I'm going to use the different camera modes to do just some different scenes. And, uh, and just in case you guys are wondering, there is actually a uh, firmware updates for this using the USB cable that was provided. Not only can you do the, the firmware updates for this, uh, but also it's got the ability to upgrade the batteries to, and I've already gotten some of those on the way. So the 26650 batteries are the best way in, uh, the best ones to get the highest capacity out of that. Uh, not only that, there is also an Android app available for this if you want to sync it up and see your battery and also you can do calibrations through your phone. Um, but uh, I have not messed with any of that stuff right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Later. Bye.
little busy there too. Now if we hit the if we hit the mode button, now it's stuck. Now when I spin around you. So this would be great for when you're doing like a steady cam and you're like trying to do. Yeah, this would be great for selfie style. <laughs> kind of creepy. To just stay just like this. So hey, here we go. We're gonna be using this as a selfie stick right now as we're walking around. Hopefully this works uh, okay. I'm trying to make sure it does. And uh, we're gonna find out here when we look at the footage if this actually looks all right. So I'm gonna be running. Casper's, look, Casper's running after me. Casper's running after me. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's trying to run after me. So uh, we're gonna do that one more time. I don't know what he's thinking. It's crazy dog. Crazy dog.